Hi everyone, I'm Todd C. Slater with the Simple Investor Real Estate Blog. This blog is set up strictly for giving you the up-to-date information on what's happening in the real estate world, the investment world, and of course we're going to talk about financing on a regular basis because that's always the moving target. So we've got two hot topics in the news this week and of course one of them is RSP season. It's coming up. I'm going to talk about that a little bit later, but first let's talk about the most important thing to you as an investor is interest rate. So of course of course, the Bank of Canada released their rate this week and it remains at 1%. Now, if that doesn't mean much to you, let me explain it. For the last couple of years, we've seen incredible low interest rates, which means that the mortgage rate has been staying down around that 2 to 3.5% range, which means that it's very, very affordable to buy both a home for yourself as well as investment properties. So it continues. Why does it continue? Well, you know, most importantly, of course, is the fact that the economy still continues to kind of struggle along and the world economy will continue that way for the next 18 to 24 months. For us in Canada, it's very, very beneficial. Again, looking at investment properties and mortgages, there's a couple things that I always try to preach. First of all, I've always liked variable rates, but with this latest interest rate fix, we are taking a look at some incredible rates coming in at four years for 2.9%. Now, if any of you have come to my seminar, you know I pretty much like to preach a variable rate because variable rate to me is, is, is one of those ones that you can take advantage of the low interest rates, pay more of the principal down, and again, you're maintaining a very low interest rate. But what's happening is the bank is taking a look at some pretty attractive four-year money. So four-year money at 2.9%. That's going to work really well into an equation for an investor. One of the most important reasons why is when it comes time to refinance. If you take a look at your typical cycle, we know that in about four to five years, you're able to refinance, pull equity out of a property, and guess what? With four-year money at that time for your renewal, you'll be able to pull equity out of your investment property. Now, there's some other things that are coming into the marketplace that are very, very attractive. One of them is the 10-year mortgage money. Recently, I've been hearing anything between 3.5 to 3.9% for 10-year money. Now, that's incredible. Now, if you don't plan on refinancing your investment property, I would definitely encourage you to tie that up because I can't see the interest rates staying that low for the next 10 years. So maybe you can take advantage of it. But if you're your typical investor, again, variable rate, low four-year money, they're all making things very, very attractive for you as an investor. So remember, mortgage rates are obviously in the right place for you to be able to get into the market and take advantage of them. So. The other important topic that's coming up, of course, is the one that is every single year, and that's RSP money. What do you plan on doing with your money? Do you plan on buying RSPs? Well, again, joining me at my seminars, you're gonna find out that RSPs have their strengths and, of course, their weaknesses. Now, I'm not gonna get onto the soapbox right now. You know what, come join me at one of my seminars and you'll see me hop up on the seminar and I'll be talking about RSPs. But here's the most important thing to understand about an RSP. It is just a delayed taxation contribution. So, in other words, when you take a look at putting in your RSPs and you try to invest it, make it grow, it goes down. Well, guess what? When you pull it out at a later date, you're still gonna get taxed on it. It's not free. So the mindset about RSPs has changed over the years. And of course, I, I'm one of those people that I like to encourage the change because again, I'm not a huge fan of it. It's good to have it kind of as forced savings, but at the end of the day, you're still gonna pay taxes on it and keep that in mind for your future. Again, some of the hot topics of the week, of course, you know, just to re recap is interest rates. They're staying low, so don't be afraid to get into your property, uh, investment or brand new house for yourself. And of course, RSPs, get ready. You're gonna see some great campaigns and slogans this is where all everybody starts spending their money, their marketing dollars to make sure that you get attracted to RSPs. Again, give it some solid thought because down the road, you know that RSPs, you're still going to pay the taxes on them. So thanks folks for tuning in to the uh, real estate blog. I'm Todd C. Slater. Of course, you can catch me every single week on Thursday and I'll keep you up to date on what's happening in the market today and what is current. So thanks for joining me and I'll see you next Thursday.